When we put this consortium together, we wanted to make it a national consortium where we could bring the best and the brightest from all over the country and use their expertise to try to accelerate these technologies all the way to the clinic, very much like the Manhattan Project, if you will, where we're bringing the best and the brightest together under one directed project to help to deliver these therapies to our wounded soldiers. And of course, that'll have an advantage also for our civilian population. We've already had the advantage that we have delivered several technologies to the clinic in the area of regenerative medicine. And using our expertise from the past, we hope to be able to use the same strategies to bring new technologies that are directly related to traumatic injury. We're working on many different tissues, including skin, which we plan to bioprint, uh, as well as ears, digits, muscle, cartilage, bone, nerve, to be able to replace things as, uh, such as craniofacial structures, limbs and digits, as well as other parts of the body due to the damage incurred by injury. There are many technologies that we use to actually engineer the tissues using these cells. And one of them, for example, is using a printing machine to actually print the cells just like you would uh, print a piece of paper. But instead of using a piece of paper, you're actually using cells. We really hope that these technologies will be able to not only help improve lives in terms of the quality of life, but eventually also save lives.